All praises, glory, and honor goes to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone of Ruwah. Shalom, wa Baraki, and Labakari, peace and blessings to the elect. And Lord's will, this be an edifying video to the sincere believers. Um, this is just going to be a video on wrath and how we have to rebuke those demons that might jump upon us, you know. You know, because the scriptures say, let me get that real quick. This is First Peter, so I'll start with this. This is First Peter chapter 5, and I'll start at verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Okay, we, we got to be sober-minded. Okay, we also have to be vigilant. We have to be cognizant and understand that the devil doesn't sleep. And, uh... He's constantly going to try to do things to get us to offend our, our power, okay? And um, one way that the devil does that is he, he, he might jump on different people uh, to, to, to set you off, to, to get you rattled, okay? Like you might be driving and somebody just cuts you off and, and puts the middle finger up to you. Or you might be working with a co-worker and a spirit hops on them and they, they turn into a demon or... You know, you, you, you're dealing with your partner, your, your significant other, and, uh, you know, spirit jumps on them, okay? People that you live with, the standard third, you know, as a roaring lion, the, the devil comes in multiple avenues, but the point of this video is just an exhortation for us to rule our spirit, okay? And to trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and let that, let that anger simmer, simmer down and, and don't let it, take, let it take over. So this is First Peter 5 and 8. It says, be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. So we got to be sober, sober-minded. Now let's go ahead and get James. So book of James, chapter 1, and verse uh, 19. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. That's important. We got to be slow to wrath. It says, for the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of Yahweh. Okay, because if you if you uh if you react when you're angry, okay, you're gonna go off. Okay? You're gonna you're not gonna work the righteousness of the most high, as it says. It says, For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of the most high. Okay, and we understand that we weren't created, okay, to to exact wrath, man. We're not perfect, you know. We gotta be merciful. You know, only the person that's allowed to 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 bring out vengeance and wrath is he that that is uh, without fault, and that's the Most High. That's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, that's why the Lord, when He brings forth His wrath in the end of the world, is justified, man. Okay, this this is a uh, Sirach chapter ten and verse. Uh, I'm gonna read verse eighteen. It says, "Pride was not made for men." Nor furious anger for them that are born of woman. And we're born, we're born of a woman, man. All of us were born of a woman. So furious anger was not made for us, man. We're not the most high. Okay. Uh, uh, another scripture uh, says something along the lines how that only the only person that can that can bring forth wrath is the most high, man. All right. Now let's go ahead and get the book of Romans. Um, let's see. This is, uh, Romans chapter 12 and 17. It says, recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. Because you, you go on, when you, when you first come in the faith and you're growing, okay, you're going to make, uh, you're going to make these mistakes, man. You know, I, I could think of an account very vivid where I let myself go. I let that anger get the best of me and it, it backfired on me big time. All right. Even though the person did evil unto me. Okay. So just because a person does you wrong in a moment. Okay. Don't try to take matters into your own hands. Okay. Cause the Lord is a righteous judge. Okay. The people in the world, they know about karma. Okay. But it's not, it's not karma. It's, it's the fact that the Lord is righteous. He's just, 
okay? And he's going he's gonna to get whoever did you wrong back. You got to remember, everything that happens to us happens to us for a reason, man. All right, we earn these different things, these different judgments for the deeds that we did in this life and the deeds that we did in our past life. We're not innocent, man. All right? So even though it might seem like we're, we're going through something that we didn't deserve, let's believe we deserved it, man. All right, so this is Romans 12 and 17. It says, Recompense no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. We're supposed to be live peaceably with all men, man. Okay, we're supposed to dwell with a, with a, with a kind spirit, man. All right? Galatians, it talks about the fruits of the spirit. Let me see if, let me see if I can get that. All right. This is Galatians 5 and 22. It says, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance against such. There is no law. And essentially, this is this. Is a, this is a man that's able to rule his spirit. OK, if you're able to rule your spirit, you're able to not get rattled, not get emotional. OK, it says against such. There is no law, man. We're going to be justified when the Lord makes his return, man, if you're walking in this way, man. If, you, if you're if um, you emulating, if you are um, if you have the fruits of the Spirit. Now, we'll go back to Romans 12. This is Romans 12 and verse uh, 19. It says, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord, man. And that's what you have to keep in mind, man. The Lord's a righteous judge. If you were done wrong, okay, the Lord's going to get that person back. He's not not instantly, not in your time. Sometimes it might be instantly, okay, but the, in due season, man, okay? I'm going to read that again. Daily beloved, avenge not yourselves. You're not supposed to take matters into your own hands, man, because that's, that's, one, that's one of the oldest tricks in the book, man. All right, Satan's going to come at you like that, and that's one of the oldest tricks. When Satan does that, I laugh, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I already see through that. All right? It's childish. Okay? And we're supposed to be like that, man. We're supposed to see through Satan's moves just as Yahweh Shai. When Satan came to him and tempted him, Yahweh Shai just brought the scriptures back on him, man. All right? It says, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. All right? Now, let me go ahead and get... Proverbs um, 25 and 28 and then uh, and uh, yeah this is Proverbs 25 and 28 all right because not get not a uh, wrath work if not the righteousness of the most high okay but so we don't want to uh, execute wrath okay or furious anger but the way to do that is to have rule over your spirit so I'm gonna get a couple rule of the spirit scriptures and end on that Proverbs 25 and 28 It says He that have no rule over his own spirit Is like a city that is broken down And without walls You're defenseless man Okay You're able to be taken advantage of You're able to be spoiled and pillaged Okay If you don't have rule over your spirit man Essentially you're a weakling man You're the ultimate weakling And that's not what we are As believers in Yahabashim Yahashai man We're strong Okay We're mighty all right, this the this is the book of Proverbs 16 and verse 32. It says, "He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh a city." All right, so if you're slow to anger, you're greater than the mightiest mighty men out here, man, able to to destroy men. Okay, ten men. Okay, you if you can rule your spirit, you're, you're greater than that. It says he that ruled his spirit, then he that taketh the city. A man that can single handedly take down a city. Okay, <laughs> like uh, one of my favorite movies is uh, Troy, like Achilles, man. You're greater than that if you have rule over your spirit, man. So this is a little exhortation to, to essentially rule over your spirit. And Lord's world was edifying. Call Hola, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshah, Bashim, Rakadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone who rule well. Shalom, wa barakim, la bakarim, peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.